So in this video, I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create a painting of a white goat. But I'm going to be using the um, Wheel of Fortune to select the colours as I go along. So what you've been seeing on screen up until now are some of the goat paintings I've done, goat paintings and drawings that I've done previously. But let's get into the into the demonstration painting. Here we go. So here goes the first spin of the wheel. Red. All right, so I'm starting off with the cadmium red as selected by the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm beginning with a half inch flat brush. And this little brush is, is being quite well used. So um, it is a little bit frayed, but uh, I think we can live with that for the moment. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I may change in a minute. So I'm just beginning to loosely outline the head of this goat. So this is a white goat that I'm going to be painting today. But what we'll try to do is introduce some hints of colour within the white. So a couple of rather wonderful horns there. Let's pop in the other ear. So I'm just keeping the shapes nice and simple at the moment. You know, obviously the, the ear of the goat isn't actually a diamond in shape, but that's a, a first approximation. So just looking at my reference and tr trying to measure fairly carefully, just by eye, but trying to get the proportions reasonably accurate right from the start. And the different perspectives and, and postures that uh, animals adopt is one of the key challenges, I think, really, um, because they they often are able to, you know, twist themselves. I mean, this goat is just standing fairly normally, but it is at a slightly funny perspective. You know, it's not head on and it's not completely side on either. Um, so sometimes we have to look, you know, quite carefully just to convince ourselves, um, does that leg really go there? And I'll just pop in a little horizon line so that uh, this animal, you know, is occupying a space. And in my reference, I don't I don't particularly have this. Is, there's not much of a background. Basically, this entire background is just a green field. Um, so I'm just going to pop in. We'll, we'll assume this goat is in Devon, which is where I am. So we'll pop in a couple of rolling hills. Which we may lose later, but we'll see. But for now, at least, that's my goat outlined in red. So I'm going to go back to the Wheel of Fortune now and we can see what colour I have to use next. So spinning the wheel for the second time. And I've got green. OK, so 
I think what I'll do is use the green as, you know, as we would expect. I'll use that for the background here. So we may as well fill that in now. All right, so I just wiped off the brush I was using before with a paper towel. And I've mixed up a green with a combo of ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to use that to put down a fairly thin layer of green in the background. And you can see, because I've got a little bit of red left on my brush, I'm getting little bursts of a reddish brown created as well. And, and you know, that's OK, because, you know, when you look at a field of grass, it's it's rarely purely green. When you look in detail, there are little patches of earth uh, showing through. And so I'm just going to use this color to block in the negative space on the background around my goat. And a quick spray with the water bottle on the paint that's left in the palette. Get things moving a little bit more freely. And in fact, let's 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 do a little bit of that on the on the painting itself. And we'll just kind of scumble in a little bit of texture just to kill that white paper. All right, so that will do for now. We'll, we'll come back to the hills another time. Let's go back to the Wheel of Fortune. OK, so this time I have blue. So the temptation here might be to just block in the sky with the blue. But in fact, I'm going to use a mix of ultramarine blue and titanium white to just begin to introduce some tone to our goat. So it's a fairly pale blue that I'm using. So as I mentioned before, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a white goat, but you'll often see on white animals, you'll see some light blue hues. And, and that's often due to the, to the light from the sky kind of reflecting off of the white of the animal's coat. And in fact, looking at my, my reference, there are actually a multitude of colors uh, within the white. They're all quite subtle. Uh, but we've definitely got some sort of orangey purples and some browns and things going on. But for now, we'll use the blue. And by doing this, we can just begin to introduce a sense of light and dark within the outline of the animal and thereby make the two-dimensional pattern begin to look three-dimensional. I think that's all I'm going to do, do with that colour. Let's uh, spin the Wheel of Fortune again. OK, and this time it's landed on brown. So when we say brown, I'm actually going to use um, some burnt umber straight from the tube. And I'm going to use that to just add in some of the darker lines. So this is the, the hoof of the animal there. And obviously there's a dark line along the split of the hoof or the hoof. So I'll, I'll refine that one later. That one's come out a little bit too thick. Uh, and I'll just add a bit of titanium white to that burnt umber. And use that to add some different areas of colour to my shadow regions. Now, when I'm applying the paint, I am keeping in mind the contours of the thing I'm painting and also the texture of the thing I'm painting as well. 
but I'm still keeping the shapes fairly simple. So for example, it, it might be tempting to draw the eye at this stage, but for now, I'm content to just pop in an oblong of shadow. And with the nose, I keep things very loose. Just another oblong of shadow there. And similarly with the mouth, I'm not even going to attempt to to describe that carefully. So it's almost as if we're painting an out of focus version of this little goat, at this stage at least. And then in a bit, what we'll do is we'll bring certain areas into, into better focus.